2022 is wrapped up. Now it's time to start plotting for all that is 2023 line ahead of us. Right, News 13's Kayla Moreska spoke with the Myrtle Beach Area Chamber of Commerce about what they're expecting tourism to look like in the new year. They're going to have to work extra hard to make sure people don't forget about the Grand Strand when they're taking their vacation destination. The Chamber has been closely tracking tourism levels in our city since 2020, and they've seen numbers rise each year. Myrtle Beach is known for being a premier summer vacation destination. The city has seen a steady up and up since 2020, but Reardon says with everything going on at the national level and everything costing so much more than in years past, they're worried 2023 might not hit the mark. After the pandemic, people don't want to deny themselves of a vacation. She says the city of Myrtle Beach takes pride in the fact that it's an affordable family vacation destination and even though 2023 could be challenging, they don't expect to be forgotten. Thank you. All right, guys. The menu, the peaches burger, cheeseburger, football, short dog, catfish on the corner. And then down here we're looking at the chicken fingers, barbecue plate, barbecue sandwich, and shrimp basket. On the back of the menu they have their sides, onion rings, hush puppies, coleslaw. And then here's their desserts, a single scoop or a double scoop of ice cream, fried Oreos, and the root beer float. Got me a few minutes. Hey guys, we're sitting right up front at the bar at Peaches. Yay! Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. What's that like, Keith? Yep, it's really good. Barbecue? It's not for me. Perfect. Corn dog, Doug and corn dog. Small dog is what we got, right? Chicken tenders. All over the side. Peaches first. Y'all had a hush puppies, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hush puppies. And then the hush puppies. We're all yes, famous, baby. Sir. Put your thumb underneath there or something. Don't want it to roll away from me. Okay. Sorry about that. All right, no worries. There it is. 
Look at that. For your weight, we're gonna be a couple days. Here's a corn dog as well. Check them out. Check them out. I tell you what, I was trying the corn dog down there. Yeah. And it looks like a fair corn dog. Like it, oh yeah. Like you've been into a fair, yeah. Jay been working on our chicken and our hush puppies. He got out of go over there. Not for now. Baby. All right, ready, Ray? One, two, three. What you got? Nine, eight, seven. Eight. Maybe nine. I think nine. Man, the uh, the hot dogs, they said world famous hot dogs. The chili is so sweet. They use red onions. Uh, you know, it didn't taste like a Cincinnati style um, Coney, but it was in that ballpark. I really enjoyed it. They got an awesome staff, and I just love that it's still here the way that it was, even Since though it has new owners. 1937. Yeah. yeah, new ownership in the last couple of years. You can tell the lead dude in there, he, he's been in restaurants. Yeah, you can yeah. tell that. And, you know, they, we had a couple issues of getting getting stuff but they had new people in so you know we know how that is um, i really enjoyed it especially if you're just down here walking the strip it's easy in easy and out then, yeah there's a lot Man. of takeout in there. yeah yeah i mean and it, our total was 71 dollars. we got an extra side though yeah and there's history that abounds in there like you see all the newspaper articles it's really cool um i would de it's definitely something i he was checking us out Did you see it uh, I caught that straw of yours that you keep slinging around. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, Thanks for watching, wait. guys, and we'll see. What? Jacob has seven. Why did you pick seven? Big kinds of fries or something at all? I love like the that fries. style fries. Well, I, I did. Now, I will say, I tasted mine. Mine were crispy I and all that, and Keegan and Jason's were. I, I love mine. Keegan's fries They were. They were. They were. Yeah. I think hers would be really good. So well, I got. Maybe. That cheese coney. You got cheese coney on your cheek? That coney <laughs> messed me up, man. I had it all over me first bite. All right. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye. If you made it this far, like if you liked it. Comment if you're a fan. Subscribe if you're feeling it. If not, that's okay, too. Wow.